You are looking live at the U.S. Capitol. Time running out for lawmakers to get a deal done that would avoid a government shutdown. And one of those lawmakers concerned is Congressman Jesus Chuy Garcia. Today, the Democrat offered us an update on where things stand right now in the House. He says lawmakers are working to get a deal done, but the bills put forward in the House do not address vital needs for the government. The reality of the situation is that a handful of uh, MAGA Republicans are trying to force a government shutdown uh, to enact their extreme agenda. Uh, everyone except that small group wants to keep the government open. And we can see the best example of bipartisan uh, framework uh, in what the Senate is putting forth. Garcia also tells Fox 32 that a shutdown would impact millions of people nationwide, while here in Illinois, some 42,000 federal employees would be impacted. And he's not the only one worried about the government shutdown. Madeline Rivera is in Washington. Throughout the country, different agencies are taking steps to make it through a government shutdown. Travelers, for instance, are being told to prepare for delays at the airport. If Transportation Security Administration agents and air traffic controllers work without pay, just one impact should federal funding run out. The consequences would be disruptive and dangerous. On Tuesday, the Senate advanced a bill that would keep the lights on until November 17th. We can take the standard approach and fund the government for six weeks at the current rate of operations. Or we can shut the government down in exchange for a zero meaningful progress on policy. But the package has no chances of making it through the House because it has money for Ukraine, a sticking point for several Republicans. On top of that, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy wants money for the border. I think if you want to walk and chew gum at the same time, you've got to deal with the issues before you. I want to deal with disaster, but I want to also deal with the border. As time runs out, both sides of the aisle are playing the blame game. Democrats are accusing McCarthy of turning his back on the deal he made with the president on spending levels earlier this year. We got here because Speaker Kevin McCarthy went back on his word. McCarthy says he'll put an interim bill on the floor on Friday, and the Senate could take until Saturday to pass its package. That's not enough time for the two bodies to resolve their differences and come up with a unified bill before the government shuts down on Sunday. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.